Hello everyone in YouTube land. Kaz here with another episode of Monster Train. Um, yeah, let's just get to it. Let's check my progress here. Um, so clanless card mastery at 21 for just clanless. Uh, Hellhorn 74% mastery. Uh, use a lot of their cards and then Awoken 66% mastery. Um, with that in mind, I think we'll do an Awoken run today. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done that. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. See what uh, see what's in store. Okay, so we got Glimmer, March of Shields, and Pyro, Pyro Go Grow. Bah, words. Um, all spells cards get consumed. So these, all of them will be consumed. And they're all already mastered. So that's gonna be like another level that I'm adding to um, my play is to try to master all the cards, which is probably a terrible idea to force that upon myself. Um, but I think it'll, I think I'll keep things interesting and um, expose us to some cards we might not uh, normally be exposed to. Um, so we got healing. We got some, we do have some armor, and we have a chance to actually reduce all these cards to zero, which is nice. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much about um, devouring our spells. Um, iron drop cage apply dazed to enemy units that are moved between floors outside the ascension phase. It's interesting. Um, I don't have any of those cards yet. I'm gonna get rail hammer because I know I have armor for that. And what do we have here? Revenge draw one and spikes ten. Could do a spikes build, especially with the armor. I don't have to rely so much on healing. Yeah, let's go spikes. And then let's go. Uh, I have the speed set to ultra. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all <laughs> I meant to say there. Felt like there was more coming, but it's fine. Alrighty. Let's see. You're not going to, you're just going to heal 35 damage. It's a lot. Or 35 health is a lot to get through. Could take you out right now. I'll probably do... I don't know how I'm gonna get by 33. Um, I don't have any way to add more spike. So I'm gonna have to do damage over time, essentially. Going up the levels. Um, so I'll do this and then get more trained stewards and add them up top. Even though know, they, they have spikes, which is a pain. Um, oof, tough call. So you're only gonna get 10 because you can get healed five. Um, you need um, 18 damage still. That's a lot. Do I even have any more units after this? No. So what I'm thinking is I'll put these guys down, deal some damage, and then play the long game and try to get some money going. Uh, I'll probably be taking some damage here. Yeah, I could do two, four, six damage. It's not going to be enough. So I'm not really going to worry about that. Do some damage and heal here. Um, can I get enough damage in? Probably not. So I'll just get ready for the boss coming. Next turn. Um, 
I could make something free. We'll do that. Ugh, just a heal. Not ideal. He's almost dead though. Um, I could do four damage here. Four, eight, this, okay. There we go. And that'll be it. I'm just hitting, killing himself there. So we took four damage. Actually, I'd never realized this. Um, I still have an enemy on the top row. If I killed the boss here, he doesn't get damage in on my pyre. Huh. Very interesting. Spikes. I feel like we could do a spike build. Spike build with some armor, some random healing. It'd be nice to get a bigger heal in. But yeah, I'll go spikes, see how that goes. Another March of Shields. Only problem with it is it's just two Ember, so it's kind of expensive. Rage doesn't really do anything for us right now. It would give a chance for uh, the Sentient to attack back. Uh, I think I might skip in all these. This is expensive, and it the two Ember for ten armor isn't the best armor generation card out there because um, it also has the effect of moving someone forward. Um, so I think I need a new unit. I would... could try to upgrade some spells to be cheaper or take away consume, which actually would be really nice. Uh, but I need a unit to do damage. These don't do a whole lot of damage. I have another frontliner. I should have checked what was in the store. But right now, I'm only relying on my train stewards. And I guess I'll go sweep. This one, I don't have mastered yet. The wilting sapwood. So I could do that. I do like the effect. But I don't have damage. I could put more spikes on him on that second row. I think I could only do the four here. Um, yeah, so let's go Hus Kermit. Yeah, yeah. You gotta balance mastering cards with losing the run. I, I would prefer to do that. Uh, win. Uh, I think I'm gonna upgrade him. That's gonna upgrade his capacity, but... I think I just need something with damage right now. Could remove a card. Sorry, just hit my mic there. Um, hmm. <clears throat> what do I want to remove? It's just a torch. Alright. Next boss. Or next battle. No boss yet. Spell shield. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. Get some gold. Some of our spells are free, so... Um, first row again. Let's see what you got. Triggers. Plus one attack if you cast a spell. We're just kind of pain with the spell shield because I'd have to cast two to get through. Um, but I think I'm just going to go with you. He looks so large. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, might as well play these guys because I don't have other units. And it should be able to take them out. Yeah. Uh, can we draw something here? There's a bad chance we'll get those shards and then have to... all right free heal and yeah that probably wasn't ideal <laughs> um so we won't cast any more spells especially one that i guess i technically didn't do anything 
I healed one and then I'm gonna take an extra damage. I'm right where I would have been anyway. Uh, let's go. Shh. More spikes. Um, I couldn't buy armor to the train steward because I don't know. Am I gonna be able to defeat the boss in this row? We'll see. So I think I want to play this and then attack the backliner and then see what I get, even though, okay, yeah, that's fine. We got him. On the spike. Doing pretty good so far. Um, took a little damage. Uh, okay, regen wouldn't be too bad um, since we're re relying on getting hit to do damage. Um, getting that up and running wouldn't be too bad. Um, getting some more damage on the Husk Hermit would be good. Um, right now I don't have a great single target damage dealer. Still only have the Rail Hammer. Yeah, I'll go get some regen going. Uh, return to consume spell. Um, that's actually good because it could return the, the shards and the regen or the regen. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take an imp. I think it's been a while since I picked an imp. Uh, Hellhorned. Spells or gain units. Um, I think I'm going to go right. Let's see what's in store at the store. Ooh, remove consume. That's good. That's really good. I'll probably do that. All right, let's check the event before we do anything else. Um, yeah, we're going to pay higher health and gain 150 coin. That'll let us do a little more at the store if we want. Even though I don't think we're going to do much else. It might rem uh Well... <laughs> Hmm. So, actually a tough choice because I do have regen happening. Um, so every time the Thorned Hollow gets healed, he gains one spike. So in theory, well, in practice, this would regen five and then also add five spikes. But that takes a long time and we do need damage even though this isn't a lot of damage i think we need to yeah we're gonna remove consume on the spikes i think magic power uh, yeah we could do glimmer heal six and do six damage that's not too bad and i'll just do it on the other one as well and then let's remove, let's see what's in store next. Um, I'll probably go left here. But yeah, let's remove a card. <clears throat> Restore. And okay, let's see what Daedalus has in store. If I stay in store one more time, feel free to downboat me. <laughs> Sometimes I latch on to a saying and I just say it a lot. If you haven't noticed. Alright, so these guys do five damage. I think the Husk Hermit can actually be a frontliner. Because he has 30 health now. Who else would be in the front line? I think these these are my two frontliners now. Um, so this guy's got quick. Question is, who would I want to be where? I want to put the husk hermit here to take out all the little guys, and then up here we'll focus on like the single target damage. 
actually would be better. The Senya would be better here, but then I have no one to protect the Animus from Will. If I actually next floor, I might duplicate the Husk Hermit. That might be bad. So then I'll have two frontliners. Or I'll have a Husk Hermit for both rows and then be able to put the Animus behind. Um, let's see, is the are gonna do nine damage. It's not too bad. The question is like, who's gonna do the most damage to the final boss? I'd say probably the sentient just in general. Let's put you up there. So I don't take damage and guess we'll get a train steward out. Sure. Okay. So they add damage, I think, when Oh no, they deal two damage to the front unit when they die. Right. That kinda sucks. So it would be better to kill him down there. But this is, so if I don't do that, well, I assume the healing happens before the damage. That'd be nice. I take 20 damage here. Where I take six. Yeah, that was good. And then I think I'll kill one of these guys so I don't take two more damage. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any slay effects right now, so I don't have to worry about getting kills with anyone. Right, that's fine. Two spikes. And then we'll put a regen. Let me give him some armor. And take out this guy. And we're good. I'm trying to play it a little quicker. I know I kind of go back and forth with that, but constantly uploading to our videos is a little taxing. And they're two hour videos. <laughs> um, we just, yeah, let's just take out those guys. And not have to take. Six damage. So this would reshuffle my deck. Um, I think that's fine. As long as I don't pull the shard. There we go. That's good. That's good. Really good. <laughs> Alright, so we'll put shields up here. And then I can return regen, actually. Uh, not that I need that right but I'll put it on. I'll throw you in there, sure, why not? Okay, yeah, I think that's, I think we're looking pretty good. Um, a little worried about damage on the boss. A little worried. I feel like we'll be fine. We'll just put a bunch of damage into him. I guess you go through three rows, essentially, so. I mean, 97 here. Not too bad. Yeah, you could you could argue there that the March of Shields would have enabled more damage to happen. Which would be totally correct. Okay. We did it. We even get to attack. Actually that's a good question. Did the uh 
Does the spike does the spike damage happen before the attack damage? I guess it does. Kind of weird though. I'd ex you kind of would expect it to happen at the same time because you have to hit the person to get the spike damage. Hmm. All right. What would be good here? Um. Hmm. A one plus one floor capacity. Wouldn't that be that great? Because I'd only have one extra slot with the Husk Hermit in play. Additional card. Could see that to get back to my Pyre Shards. Which I think I'm going to do. Energy. We're fine on energy right now. And we have a way to make something cost zero. Yes. Yeah, take the Light of Seraph. Restore units health with Unleash the Wildwood. When I was just talking about Ember costs, uh, the multi-strike would be great. Awoken's Whales, <coughs> Awoken's Whale Spike. Consume, draw X. I try to use this before. I'd only be able to draw three at most. Huh. Guess we just go healing here or skip. Or take the one horns to um, tome for later when I have enough energy and it's even possible that I can pull it with the pyre grow and make it cost zero. I think we're going to do that because our damage is still a bit meh. Um, hmm. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the devour spells thing, but that's fine. So I actually could put the Alpha Fiend in front of the Anims of Will. That wouldn't be too bad. Well, not the tankiest of people. Or I could do Branded Warrior. I think I have to go there, get some damage. So who would I pair you with? A sweep. I duplicate my house Kermit. I mean, that's not the best target for rage. And you actually have to get the kill. Um, I think I'll go Alpha Fiend, actually. So that I don't have to duplicate the, the Husk Hermit. Or even if I do, I'll have a third line. And he scales over the course of the battle. I could say that he does too. Um, but it's easier for the Alpha Fiend. Because he doesn't have to get the kill. Uh, I could see either way, really. Um, I could get a heal, forge units, duplicate, remove, artifacts. Um, I could duplicate. Uh, the problem with duplicating would be good up until the boss. Unless I get an artifact that makes it 50% chance to discard instead of consume. Uh, I guess I'm going left. I was clicking the think, and I was on the left side. <laughs> Jeez. So we're going left. I think that, that'd be fine. All right, 25% chance to deal five damage. Happens seems to be more than 25%, but I'll take it. Uh, apply rooted to the enemies when they enter the room below the pyre room. Uh, that's always nice. But dealing five damage, it just can take out, just remove people from the problem. They don't even get to the fire room or the floor below it. Let's do that. And duplicate. Hmm. Could duplicate the impl 
impish scholar. Um, yeah, I like that. Because at the end boss, the impish scholars will be able to return all the cards that we've that have been consumed. Questionable. Three spikes. I think we're fine with that. All of our uh, animals of will does not have a lot of health. She would struggle. Sentient is totally fine. He doesn't even attack. House Kermit could be an issue. You talk attacking multiple people. Hmm. Three spikes. So three damage per enemy. Um, they're going to overload me with penance if I don't take them out. I think it might be a little risky. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> no risk, no reward. Oh, I love this song. It's a good one. So I didn't get my... That's fine. I actually kill him with spikes if I put the sentient down below, which I think I'm going to. Because you'll kill yourself. 30 health. I'll do 14. <laughs> Actually, I could even get the Alpha Fiend down at the bottom floor. You could be my back line. Actually, I would like the, the sweep up here. Eh, I guess that's fine, because then... Well, I guess you guys, all these small guys are going to kill themselves on the spikes. So the sweep isn't as important. Alright, let's do this. Even give you consume. <laughs> give you consume. Give you five regen. Eh. I could and then bring it right back. I don't have any other consumes, do I? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, the one horn stone. Huh. Unlikely, unless I uh, draw it with that. Okay, I'm getting distracted because I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I go kind of go off topic if I'm unsure of what I should do next. So if I play the Alpha Fiend, how much damage will I do? 14, 24. Still wouldn't be enough, but then I should have enough later. I'm actually gonna just hold on to this one. Yeah, let's put it on the back line. Cause he's gonna take damage every time he attacks. But it's worth getting him to attack early, cause then it'll beef him up. Um, 15 damage. That'd actually kill you as well. Unless I gave you armor, but you still wouldn't even kill him. killing this guy um, so what I'm gonna do I don't have enough mana for what I want to do oops well I guess it doesn't matter I'm gonna march him to the front just so when he attacks next round he doesn't Die instantly. I'm well, thinking putting him at the top. Um, I did give him armor, but um, the most fragile one. Uh, so I'm going to put the Husk Hermit in the middle. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth that at the moment. Need to get another train steward down. I actually do need some more. Uh... Or should I? I should put him up top. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. 
Put you down here and then glimmer for the kill. Um, not a whole lot of damage here, um, but I do have 15 up top. Okay. Yeah, these spikes are kind of annoying. But uh, hopefully it'll be worth the 100 gold. We're, we're doing pretty good in gold right now, but... Get more spikes going. I actually could use that... Heal. Regen. We're getting kind of low. See, all these guys are going to make it through... I don't love that. I don't really have a great way to buff their damage. I guess I should have maybe considered one of the other units. So I'm going to take a little damage here, but I have quite a bit. Do march a shield too, get some armor. Okay. Yeah, I'm finding the problem with my march of shield is oftentimes I want to play it on someone, but they get pushed to the front. So it kind of. feels bad. So. Boss out next turn. Not in the best situation. So I'm gonna take damage up top. It, it is what it is. Not much I can do about it. It's actually more damage if I heal. Do this so I can get some healing here, because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to beat him on the first row. Is my hunch at least. He also has three spikes, which is kind of annoying. We do, we do quite a bit of damage, actually. We're not, not that far away. And I could possibly win with this. Nope. <laughs> not quite. Uh, but getting 14 more armor, that would get more hits on. That might do it. Oh, so close. We'll be fine either way. The next one will be able to take him out. Cool. Okay. Guess that under underestimate the, the health of the sentient and how much um, damage he does back. Hey, don't kill my units. Please, thank you. So we took 14 damage, but we got 100 gold. I think that's, that's worth it. Apply three spikes and enhance with 10 health with cycle of life. Getting a lot of high cost cards. Uh, I think we'll go restore, apply regen. We need more healing. More spikes is nice, but yeah, all these cards are expensive. Except in graph. It's just good. You get one health for free and you draw a card for free. This image imagery is questionable though. Another impish scholar. Huh. Yeah. I think so. We'll see how that pans out on uh, the final boss. Okay. 300 gold, almost 400. Could use a heal. I could use more units. That's not even an option. If I could forge units. I kind of want to go artifacts. Upgrading the Alpha Fiend. And also Will. Yeah, that would be nice. An event. I don't really need cash. I could essentially buy all the trinkets in here, which could be very good. Hmm, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. 
Could go right down there. <clears throat> I think I will. Maybe? <laughs> hmm. What's going to win me the game? Impish Scholars? <laughs> I think my units. I need to upgrade my units. Yeah. And not die. Preferably. Let's see what we got here. Man, see? The historian. Way to get more money. I'm gonna go with the pirate gets one extra attack for every 10 I have. That's interesting. Or gain 50 gold with an X cost. Could be 150 and then purge. I've never actually used that, so maybe I take it. Sure. Maybe I'll save it till the end, even though it's gonna like muck up my deck. Uh, let's upgrade first. Spikes. Yeah. More spikes. It's 20 damage when they attack me. Not too bad. No multi attack. It's unfortunate. Large stone. I don't think so. I, th I don't think I can afford that. I already have. Two, three cost or three capacity. It would make them tankier. <clears throat> hmm. Not that much tankier though. 13. More about his damage. Four costs. That'd be. Or, uh, four. Base is a little rough. I might do an Impure Scholar just so we can take a hit. You know, I have the money. And then I think we're going to leave the large stone for now. Could say I could put on the Animus of Will. I think I'm going to go for the Alpha Fiend because he's going to be... Could go on the Ipish Scholar. <laughs> um, I think the Alpha Fiend is going to be the damage dealer for us in the long run. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. Unfortunate. I feel like we're severely lacking units. Six damage. Um, they will gain more power with each foe slain. So make sure you defeat them before you thin out your defense. Um, and this big guy has a sweeping attack as well. Which could be an issue, issue for the Animus of Will. Six more damage. I feel like we can't support that. Because then these sweep guys are going to do some heavy damage. Amso Will is good as gone. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to skip this one, unfortunately. Ooh, the 100 gold be good. But I think that'll be just too much damage. And that'd be nine sweep attack damage there. And he gets rage if he gets a kill. So that's, that's a little rough. All right, I think we set the bottom four the same. We have been. Getting multi-strike on the Alpha Fiend would be great. No reason to play the Fish Scholar, and then I could just ping you. Alpha Fiend's not going to hit him anyway. Okay. I think these big guys are going to be an issue to try to take out, because we don't have the damage necessary. hand that haven't already shown 
So one, two, three mana. Could put the Impish Scholar up top, but still won't get the kill. I guess you can argue that we wouldn't get the kill anyway in this, um, the other artifact that rooted him in place would be excellent. However, I don't have that option. So I guess I'm gonna go top row. Okay. For the gold. For the gold. Man. 33 um, plus 12, not quite enough, be 45, is that what I said? Actually the backliners, and as a will is out. Uh, hope this gets me a March of Shields, let's go. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh, not ideal. Not ideal. That's too bad. I think we got an attack off first. Yeah, that. Yeah. Looking more and more dire as we go along here. Now all these guys are gonna get through. Uh oh. Even without that damage buff, this is gonna be an issue. Luckily this guy's not gonna do anything, but he's also gonna take the hit. Uh no, I got sweep up here, so it won't matter. I mean, as long as I get him under 30 health, but I'm not. Hmm, this might be rough here. I mean, they only do three damage, luckily, because they're sweep attack. Huh, I can bring back my Animus with this? No, okay. <laughs> Yeah, there should be a. It should be separate. I'm thinking. Probably should be separate. Like a. Not a consumed pile, but like a. Destroyed temporary pile. I don't know what that'd be called, but. Should have put that guy up front, even though it doesn't really matter. Are these guys healed up? Not quite. Let's heal them up. They're gonna win things for us. Okay. Too much damage to take. Well, we're gonna take six here. Actually, that middle guy got rage from that. Ugh. That was a bad decision. Oh boy. Who's he at now? Seven? Yeah, we're still good ish. I don't want to do this just to draw the spikes. Otherwise, I'd put a train steward down. Do both. Um, I could get back. I assume just the regen, based on how that my last interaction went. Which could help here. I have four regen now. Eh, 15 damage though. Okay, good. I got that, so do a little more damage. And I'll put you in the back here. And you'll almost die from it. I might as well get this out and then add more, some more regen. Now we got some more damage in. Okay. 
Yeah, trying to like calculate this bottom floor out like ahead of time manually would be insane because the Alpha Fiend gets plus one attack every every attack. That'd be crazy. Right, let's do this. Get you to the front. 18 damage. Not too bad for a row of misfits. Yeah, good job. Good on you. Soften them up. Soften them up. So this is 14 heat all essentially. So we'll do that. So close, so close. Not gonna get it. Ooh. Um, I think we're fine. We're gonna have very low health. We're gonna have three health. <laughs> Good thing I healed earlier. Did I heal her earlier? I think I did. Oh boy. This deck is uh, questionable. Guess I go cycle of life here. Sting spells won't really do a whole lot for me. Even though that card's gonna become consumed. Battergram. Um, do I have armor in this deck? I can't remember now. I do not. Uh, yeah, I have March of Shields. Um, that could be decent. That's a big chunk of damage if I can get some of those off. Impolate. Yeah, Battering Ram. Possibly? Seems kind of half-assed. Whenever I go into multiple avenues, it kind of fights me 30 damage to the front enemy unit that's not too bad let's grab that and if we find a, any more impish scholars we'll pick them up all right kind of need to heal unfortunately or spells good man i'm not like getting any unit spawns this is kind of crazy We've gotten two that we've taken, and that's it. I sure don't know if I realize that, that all these later levels don't have hero spawns or unit spawns. Huh. Well, that makes things difficult. I don't know if that's always the case. Um, I think I, I think I have to go right to heal. I think I have to. I can purge some junk that I probably should really get rid of train steward too Ugh. Ugh. room of consume doesn't really help could put this down so i can actually play it or a march of shields because they're so expensive i feel like i have to do this just because i need i need damage restore 16 and deal 16 to everyone this is essentially getting another imp but also increases the cost i don't like a lot remove consume could be useful getting up to the boss, but once I'm to the boss, it's kind of a waste. And it's 140. It's kind of a lot. Um, but I don't have that much to spend it on. Should I just be getting rid of these March of Shields at this point? I think I'm going to get rid of them. Uh, that's so hard. So hard. Get rid of restore. Okay, let's go. Alright, so let's get by this and then upgrade our ember probably. If I can get there. Okay, show add scourge, which is lovely. I love scourge. It is a fun time. Oh, man.
man, that's like, ugh, that is not good. What an opener. What an opener. He would kill himself. Yeah. Ugh. Hate it. Who do I want to put down here? Alpha Fiend again? He's always... Oh, well, he's going to get a hit off. A few hits off. Um, everyone else will probably kill themselves on the sentient. Um, so I'll put you here. And then gain 50 gold? If, no, that would be 50 times 0, so that would be 0 gold. Luckily, these guys only do 1 damage. This is actually excellent. And I didn't... Ugh. Ugh. Really wanted multi-strike on the Alpha Fiend. Hmm. I think I save it. For the Alpha Fiend. do what to do I could also play it and then try to well that would bring it back so I don't actually need sweep with spikes on I'm realizing unless they don't do damage I think cycle of life make the sentient tankier play alpha fiend and then once the tome rolls back around we can um, apply it then. My problem is this frontline uh, statue is not going to go away anytime soon. Oh, that sucks. I actually really can't be taking damage here. Actually, I think someone in the bottom row died. And then fused mallet. I haven't really been noticing that happening. Maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. I think I have to get the alpha fiend out, unfortunately. There's too many low cost cards here to play. Um, Pyrogu. Grow. grow. <laughs> um, let's play it anyway. Okay. I'll take you. Yeah, that sucks. Can't let many more of those get through. I don't quite understand um, when she adds a scourge. I think it, maybe it's only if I have a unit in that row. I don't quite know. means I, I probably shouldn't play this guy up top because then he's just gonna add a scourge whenever I'm whenever he goes up top get some armor might get some armor for you in case I don't get the alpha or the husk hermit Let's do that so you can at least survive yeah that must be it Oh man. Oh, I gotta play these. I gotta play one. Shit. That's unfortunate. I have to play it though. I can't not. And I'll play the Husk Hermit. Oh man. I'm just gonna play. The, uh, no. I was gonna play it just to get rid of it, but. Ooh. That's actually true. I can't play both of those scourges. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Not looking good. 19 damage. Cannot kill you. Can apply 14 armor, which would give you... Um, 33? Ugh. Mm. 
No, I couldn't even do that because I don't have the, the ember. Man, the ember cost upgrade would have been nice. Drawing card, it's not really helpful. <laughs> uh, let's see, and he'll take four, I'll take four more damage there. Oh man. What do I do instead? Just keep cycle of lifing. I thought this frontliner was dead. What if we do that to get rid of him? And then I think I may... Maybe I'll just impolate down here. So another one doesn't get through. Okay. It's gonna take a little more damage here. Hope we don't get two of those Scourge cars there at hand. Gotta play it. I'm not even gonna look at the other cards. I'm just gonna play it. Okay. So that's good. Don't die. He'll die next round. Um, I could use some healing. You got regen on, so I'll heal you up here. Um, I could get a regen going, but I don't. I don't want to risk adding more scourges to my deck. I already have one. Okay, no more scourges. But I got one. No! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, now's the question. Do I take five damage and get multi-strike on the Alpha Fiend? How do I figure out how much damage that's going to do? Do 12 times 2. Do you do 24 per hit? Oof, that's tough. We're only going to get... Oh man, Dude, you're going to die on the fourth hit, I think. So that's going to be 28 times four. Let's just say it's 30 for simplicity. That's 120 of it. If I double 120, it's 240. I think I'm screwed either way. I think I have to take it to do more damage. Oh, this is not good. I actually play another regen too. I might, I don't know if that's actually gonna help me, but I don't think it did. Oh boy. Well, I guess either way there, if the boss makes it to the top floor, I was dead. So might as well accept that last. Actually, is it still in my deck? It is. Shit. If I can pull it again. <laughs> I could. 30 damage. That's not a lot. Um, what would save me? Do that. Six healing and six damage. How do I get 24 health? That would give me 24, at least. It's not gonna be enough though. Damn. Well. Yeah, it's stuck. Never really felt like it came together. My um, attack units just. I don't know. I feel like multi-strike builds are just better in every way for every situation. The only thing that's negative about them, obviously, is um, spikes. Um, but usually the spikes are only applied as a um, modifier that you choose to take. Um, I know there are some enemies that apply 
spikes as a buff, but you usually can like pinpoint them and take them out in the back lines. Hmm. Yeah, let's check the summary. Kind of review what we did here. Um, so we only got three artifacts. That's sad. I only had... Maybe I took too many Impish Scholars. I had three of them. Um, I had the Tome that I had... I only used once, I think, at the end there. And it was questionable. March of Shields that we started with didn't really get us anywhere i mean it acted as a a heal for 10 for two ember cost impolate we got that got late um i think we used it once yeah alpha fiend was nice but it just takes too long to ramp up House Kermit's okay. I just realized, I realized during the run that the spikes and the sweep kind of act in the same, they kind of do the same function to a certain certain degree. And so Will is nice, it's just quick, um, but 15 damage late game is not, is nothing. They have more than 15 armor sometimes. So, yeah, it just, I don't know. Couldn't get things going. Um, maybe I should have modified which of the upgrades I picked. Um, but I actually got well under an hour for a loss. I guess isn't too bad. Uh, we did get pretty close. We we're only um, I think two or three more fights away. Um, so pulling soccer sized. Uh, give it a try. I th you probably can beat my score. Um, it was a little rough. I think I feel like the upgrades in that run were. Uh, limiting but um uh, that's gonna do it for me um hope everyone's doing well um again if you wanna want me to do a custom challenge i will um you will put it in the youtube comments below and then i will complete it um and for now that's that's all i got ggs